Each year, millions of Americans are sickened by foodborne illnesses, and according to the Centers for Disease Control, many of those cases could be prevented by changing the way you handle and prepare your food. The May issue of Shop Smart magazine offers up new rules of food safety, and this morning, Shop Smart's deputy editor, Sue Perry, joins us about how to handle the food from the time you pick it up at the grocery store to when you put it away at home. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you with us. Um, so we were talking a little bit earlier before this, and these are really important rules. You must change the way you're doing yeah, things, right? Yeah, because there are so many things that are not in our control. We just had a recall of uh, romaine lettuce, and there's food scares every day. But there are things that we can do uh, to help uh, keep our family safer, just in how we handle our food, so, starting at the supermarket. Yeah, and so when you're heading to the supermarket before you go, what are good things to do in preparation for that? Well, you know, ideally you want to bring your home, your food home from the supermarket as quickly as possible, but often we want to do an errand here and there, make a couple of pit stops, and the, the worst thing to do is lock your food up in a hot car, summer months are coming, 30 minutes in a hot car, you've got food spoilage atmosphere there. So what you want to do is throw a cooler and some ice packs in the car before you go, and then what you can do is, uh, at the supermarket, if you know you're going to be making making some uh, stops before you go home. Throw your perishables into the cooler with the ice packs and then you've got, you're playing it much safer. So everything stays cold. Yeah. Um, when, when I'm in New York here and I look at those uh, poles in the subway car, I never want to grab onto them. No. The other thing I never want to grab onto is the cart. The shopping cart. So what can you do as Same cars? thing because you don't know who's been <laughs> sneezing on it and all kinds of things. So take some sanitary wipes with you. They have alcohol in them, the things that you just wash your hands with, you know, when you can't get near a faucet. Rub that on the uh, supermarket cart handle, and then you'll make sure that that's nice and safe. And also on your hands, because you're picking perfect peaches and plums and apples and bananas and all of those things, but where have your hands been? And you're putting that contamination on the nice produce you're bringing home. So make sure your hands are clean. All right. Uh, what about uh, one of your tips is to shop in the middle first. What do you mean? Yeah, start in the middle because that's where all the non-perishable foods are generally. You know, your drinks, your packaged foods, your um, canned goods, your cleaning supplies. Dump all that in your cart first and then go to the outer edges of the store where you have your dairy case and all your cold stuff. Okay. And then put that in and your produce. Put that in next and then last the um, frozen foods. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. Um, and now let's talk about when you get your groceries home and you put them away. Uh, what should you do? Well, first of all, don't dawdle. <laughs> put them away. Put them away right don't away. Don't go check your email. Yeah. Don't don't, go don't the do phone. that. Get the groceries out of the car, out of that hot car. Remember the 30 minutes perfect atmosphere for food spoilage. Well, get the groceries into the house and start putting them away and put them in their proper place. You want to put them away um, correctly. When the fridge is overstuffed, that's not a good thing, right? Not a then good thing. You can't really get everything cold. So, what should you do to make sure you well, avoid that? Yeah, space. Okay. You know, make sure that you're not stacking things all on top of one another and clustering things all together so that there's no breathing room between your food because you want to keep your food the coldest. So, you need air around it. You need to get the cold air surrounding everything. So, don't pack everything in. Don't pile. Don't stuff. And also, put your more perishable things like dairy products products, eggs in the coldest part of the fridge, mm -hmm. not in the door, because that's the warmest part of the fridge. You keep opening and closing that door, that's warm. Stick it in the, you know, in the back in the cold area. And then your last tip that you have for this is to use the first in, first out rule. Explain what that is. Well, first in, first out is putting things away, let's say all your canned goods in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Take what's already there, move that to the front, put the new stuff toward the back. That's what, That way you're making sure that expired cans and cans that could explode, that did happen to me one time because I forgot a can Whoa. of tomatoes <laughs> back there and it went all over the place. You're not going to forget that. It's going to go to the front so you're using things up in a logical way, in a timely manner. Same thing in the refrigerator. I, I buy tons of yogurt every week. Okay. So the stuff that's still left from last week, I moved out to the front, the new stuff goes to the back, so I'm always rotating and I'm using the most current, you know, the stuff that I should use up and the stuff that's more current that I just bought is in the back and therefore I'm using it in a timely manner. So you want, and you want to check expiration dates, sell-by date, yeah. anything that's pa a week past its sell-by date, chuck it out. All right, awesome. Sue Perry, thank you so much. And